finally, the penalty for apostasy. You got to hold your seatbelt. Get your seatbelt. I know you don't have one, but pretend there's one. What makes a person a false teacher? What they want, what they think about salvation. God takes apostasy very seriously. When you depart from the faith, you're saved because assurance has nothing to do with this. So he hasn't come up with any sort of destructive here. So I would, I, again, I would like to see her here. What makes him a false teacher? Tony Evans stepped down from ministry. Uh, he put out a statement as the reason being he um, he did something in the past. He committed an unrighteous deed in the past. Whatever that is, nobody knows, except he did say that he wasn't criminal. But his uh, elders at his church assumed that, okay, whatever it was, it was good for him to step down. According to his own statement, he told his children, he told his elders, but his son actually said that he, he was never told, so he doesn't know. So this is what I've concluded on my own. I don't think Tony Evans said anything to the elders as a matter to the nature of what sin is. I think he just presented it in a general terms and they were having back and forth meetings with the elders. So they just concluded maybe he should step down, you know what I mean, sort that issue out and then come back. Because up to now, there hasn't been a single centimeter of evidence of what he did. In a world of social media, surely somebody said something. The fact that it's been radio silence, my conclusion is he never said what it was. Okay? He never said what it was. But anyway, you know, we can make our own conclusions. That because he left the gate open. So to me, I, those two, covetousness or thou shalt not commit adultery. Be that as it may. So this is Tony Evans. Oh, Tony Evans put out uh, a tweet. It's not the strength of your faith that saves you, but the strength of him upon whom you rely. Charles Spurgeon. <laughs> so this is a tweet that he put out today. Okay. Because today is July 5th at 9.40 a.m. So to me, this is the conclusion that I've put out. Tony Evans has realized, wait a minute, the, the narrative, the story has shifted, right? Everybody's talking about Biden right now. So Tony Evans will be like, oh, <laughs> at least the, you know, the story has died down. So he put out there, it's not the strength of your faith that saves you, but the strength of him upon whom you rely. He's quoting Charles Spurgeon. All right, fine. Yes, Pastor Tony Evans, that is actually correct. So this is actually a second tweet that he has put out because there was another tweet uh, that he put out. And like, you know, he has all his supporters uh, out here in the chat supporting him, which is fine. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong. So then uh, uh, on the fourth, right? Because that one was the one he put out today. Then he put this one, right? I ask, is quoting scripture, Ephesians 3.16. I ask that he will strengthen you in your inner selves from the greatness of his glory through the spirit. Ephesians 3.16. So for me, Tony Evans is testing the waters just to see what is the consensus. What are people saying? Okay. Are people ready to receive Tony Evans or what's happening? Okay. So he's putting out over there his tweets just to see where it is. But for the most part, everything that I've seen, it looks like uh, people cannot wait to welcome Pastor Tony Evans with open arms, open arms, open arms, open arms. Uh, if you ask me, uh, uh, Tony Evans is disqualified from ministry. He cannot come back to the pulpit. He's welcome to church, to worship, to do all those things, but not to be an elder. Not to be an elder and the scripture says as much. Okay. An elder must be above reproach. As of right now, he, he did everything. He's not above reproach. And the outsiders must think well of, the, uh, uh, of an elder. Outsiders are not thinking well of Pastor Tony Evans. Because of whatever he has done, he made it to be secret. Now, uh, there has been some clips of Tony Evans that are surfacing, which is not a strange. I already shared with you guys. I used to listen to Tony Evans. I don't anymore. I do have some theological differences with him that to me, I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. Okay. I was a big fan of her, uh, of her daughter, Priscilla Shara. 
I stopped following Priscilla Shire as well because she also does teach uh, false teaching and the fact that she preaches to men, women cannot be preaching to men. So, yes, even I was a big fan of Priscilla Shire. So I understand all the people who do follow her. I used to be uh, one of them, so I completely get it. And even for her, she actually says she can preach to men because her husband is in the audience, which means the husband is offering a covering on her. And also her father gave her a brace and that she can do that. Like, no, 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 no. It doesn't matter whether your husband is in the audience or not. It doesn't matter what your dad says. According to the scripture, I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she should remain to quiet. That's what the scripture teaches. So, no. Beth Moore, Priscilla Shire. No, 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 no. Yes, and Jack Hugh Perry in there as well. I used to follow all those people, but not anymore. So, I'll share this clip. Uh, this clip is from um, Corey Minor, okay? Man, I wish there was a part where Corey Minor gave a shout out to yours truly. <laughs> but I don't think it's anywhere. It, I think it's somewhere here, but it, it, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to play this clip for you guys, then we'll listen together, okay? Finally, the penalty for apostasy. You got to hold your seatbelt. Get your seatbelt. I know you don't have one, but pretend there's one. What makes a person a false teacher? What they want, what they think about salvation. God takes apostasy very seriously. When you depart from the faith, you're saved because assurance has nothing to do with this. So he hasn't come up with any sort of destructive heresy. So I would, I, again, I would like to see her here. What makes him a false teacher what 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 makes him a false teacher um, now he made a statement earlier that i i refuse to listen to i haven't heard anything this might this now maybe i should have maybe i should have done a better job of hearing but i haven't heard anything previous i haven't heard this part before have i heard all of his preachings and sermons no i have not i haven't now do i have access to all of them right now i do but i don't have time to listen to those things and so uh given this again i just saw this this morning and so, hey, listen, you got to you have to do the right thing. And this is this is clear. I, I, didn't, I didn't know this. So uh, if anyone in the future has something like that, hey, Corey, this is what you're saying. You want some information. Look at this. And if I get a chance to look at it and I see that it's wrong, and especially in this, it goes counter to even what I believe and what I teach. Well, then sure. Um, um, as I'm scrolling down, I want to see. Uh, he, he, he teaches free grace theology. I don't know about that. Uh, he, he, he teaches free grace theology. I don't know about that. If you trust in Christ alone. As the guarantor of your eternal destiny, you're saved. But he's now talking about what happens to God's kids when they apostatize. Is Christ how we get to heaven? Absolutely. Does he preach that? Absolutely. What does he think about sin? Is sin okay? You'll never hear him say that. You'll never hear Tony Evans say that sin is okay. If you mess over Jesus Christ in an unrepentant way, because God loves you so much, he will never take your salvation from you. This, this thought that, and by the way, everyone gets lumped in the category of free grace nowadays. Yeah. Truth is, people do get lumped in the category of free grace. I keep, I get lumped in the category of free grace. Uh, then, after this, probably after this video, I'll get some devil horns on my head because that's usually who, the last few devil horns I've gotten on my head have been from guys in the free grace camp, but I've gotten it from both sides. I'm not free grace, but a lot of folks do get lumped in there, but speaking of lumps, I'm taking my lumps right now. Everyone gets lumped in the category of free grace or this and that or whatever. You, you might want to pull back. If you mess over Jesus Christ, in an unrepentant way, because God loves you so much, he will never take your salvation from you. Eddie says, if you don't abide, you aren't saved. I say, if you don't abide, you're not saved. You must abide. Tony Evans also says that you will abide, that he is, God is going to cause you to abide. So, yeah, you must abide, Eddie. We, ha we absolutely have to abide. When you depart from the faith, and you get to the point of giving up your confidence, and you have lifted up a high hand against God, what you've said is, I don't want you anymore. You've apostatized. You're saved because assurance has nothing to do with this. If you're trusting Christ alone as the guarantor of your eternal destiny, you're saved. But we can all be correct. Listen, I can be correct. Okay, so you guys got the gist over there. I do remember, uh, you know, Corey had done a video about Tony Evans. So people were asking him questions. So I did ask him a question. Like, can you, I, you know, can you be a member of Tony Evans church? Which he did say like, yeah, he used to be a member and he could be a member. So I commend Corey for doing this video and just correcting the record. Cause Corey has a lot of followers who do follow him. I specifically did ask Corey that question. Cause to me, I'm like, I used to follow Tony Evans. I cannot be a member of Tony Evans in good conscience. There's no way I could be, right? So even in this clip, right, Tony Evans is actually teaching that you can be, you can apostatize 
and you can still be saved. That is in contradiction according to the scripture. If you read Hebrews, right? Like, you know, they've tested and they've walked away. So these are the people who, who have heard the word, right? They've tested the word of God, but they have... Uh, I'm paraphrasing over here, like you're also crucifying the Son of God again. But we do believe this, right? You, uh, what? Anyway, I'll use the term. Once saved is all, all, always saved. Okay, not this free grace thing. Meaning, you cannot lose salvation, right? Everybody, uh, unsnatchable. You know, John ten, right? You are in God's hands. You are in Jesus' hands, and nobody can snatch you out of His hand. And then Jesus' hands is in the Father's hands. They call that a double grip. So nobody can lose their salvation. They went out from us so that we should know that they were not of us. That's why on the last day, people will be like, Lord, did we prophesy in your name? Did we do miracles? Jesus is going to say, depart from me. What? I never knew you. So there'll be people who are going to look like they are part of it. But only those who endure till the end shall be saved. Okay. God is going to keep you. God is going to keep you. Right now, as we're living our lives, we are working out our salvation with fear and trembling. The works don't save you, but because you're saved, you are going to be doing works in keeping of your repentance. Okay? So I'm glad that Corey made that video and just uh, make uh, the record straight, which is fine. I do understand, yes, Tony Evans has done, you know, good work. He has a lot of followers, all those things, right? And like, you know, so many people do love him. It's very difficult for you to separate when you... Uh, when you love a minister of the gospel like that. I've been there. I was once like that. So... I, I completely understand it. But like, it doesn't matter how much you love somebody. Just measure whatever else they do according to the scriptures, right? I shared with you about Ravi Zacharias. I used to love Ravi Zacharias. I didn't even want to believe any of those stories that came about. But, you know, the stories came out. There was just overwhelming evidence that you simply cannot deny what was there. So that is the situation uh, with uh, Tony Evans. So we thank Corey for correcting the record. All lies will be exposed, that's all. All lies will be exposed, that's all.